Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tang Production. I'll bring you another video, but this time is about uh, my training day, a vlog on my training day, and what I do during the training uh, routine, and also the nutrition, the lunch, and also dinner. Just to give you an idea uh, of the whole day routine, you can actually select different um, sections of it for your own personal training. Now, if you find some of the exercises too hard, just uh, yeah, just do it easy. Uh, take it easy. I'll do some uh, so progression uh, exercises in the individually uh, in the future videos. So please comment if you have anything you want to say or you want to ask me about. Uh, either what I do with a uh, bone broth or uh, what I do with the exercises and how to progress, uh, frequency, intensity, etc, etc. Just put a comment below and I will answer your comments. Well, enjoy and uh, I'll be doing another video for the mobility, agility, but today is about training and eating. Please make sure you subscribe and like and click on the notification. Monday morning, getting ready for um, my body weight exercises at the gym. I have my cell crown and before I go to training to get the gut bacteria and raw garlic and uh, my apple cider vinegar so, for the gut bacteria to increase in microbiome um, it's best to ingest it first thing in the morning that's due to the stomach acid being low and hopefully some of the bacteria will go into the intestines and let it proliferate and then after that apple cider vinegar which is Sour. And of course, raw garlic, high levels of inulin, which feeds the good gut bacteria. And now, if that goes to work. Very steep hill here, extremely steep. Good for the workout though, pre-workout. Long flight of stairs, that's my warm-up before the exercise. Yeah, there's about 10 stories high, but it's not getting easier. Every day is not getting easier. Wrists directly beneath your shoulders, knees directly beneath your hips. Flex and extend your spine slowly. Lean back slightly, make circular motion with your hips, large circles from one direction and then to the other. This time lean back even more, focusing, circling the legs but the emphasis is on the knees and the hips. Yeah, 
Now lean forward, focusing on the shoulders and the wrists. So make small circular motions from one direction to the other. This time reach to one side of the body and then rotate round and reach up to the ceiling. So keeping the both knees on the ground and keep on rotating gently. Right, lift the hip up off the ground and hold for a second or two. And this next one is to roll the knees towards your chest and include the bridge, which is pushing the hip up and hold. And again, rotate down and push up. Right, this one, make sure you support yourself with one elbow to one side and then twist. Here we have a crab twist, similar technique, but this time on both legs and arms. So rotate, touch a wall, back, and rotate, touch a wall, and back. Bear and crab roll. Do this movement very slowly. So this requires good core muscles, great for shoulder mobility. So here we have bear, rotate into a crab. Now the workout begins. I'm taking a break now after an hour and a half of training. So once I've done that, rehydrate, eat some banana, and then 15 minutes later, back to training.
the end of the workout. So, uh, back home, have some lunch, some bone broth, and, uh, and lots of bananas, nuts, etc, etc. Well, it's generally good to uh, have creatine about 30 minutes after workout. So I've been uh, doing a heavy session today and then walked about 30 minutes back home. Now, get my creatine, then get my lunch. Mm. Oh, lovely. Now, so, here we have. Now, this is a usual routine. So after, uh, so I did about 45 minutes of our warm up. Warm up with mobility. I mean, if you do stretch, you've got to add strength to it. Otherwise, if you stretch and then do a heavy workout, you're likely to injure yourself. Because the stretching, of course, is, uh, weakens the muscle. Because it makes it much more relaxed. So you want the opposite. Um, then after the workout, um, I do a different day for stretching, uh, stretches and, uh, and mobility, so that will be done tomorrow. So come back home, have my creatine. And that's to replenish the, um, the energy system. This creatine is the energy system that's used between 0 to well, 10 seconds. And then glycogen kicks in. Then. Um, over a longer period of time than facts. I'm preparing my lunch, so here we go. That's my bone broth, bone broth there, eggs and vegetables. Uh, I don't normally eat sardines, but these are in oil, so it's for the bone broth. It's pretty good. Add the vegetables. You have lunch all done, bone broth with veg. A little bit of pa canned pepper. That will help to uh, cleanse the blood vessels. This section basically show you what I eat for um, for dinner. So it's a huge dinner in comparison to the lunch. So basically, I'm trying to replace all the um, glycogen that I've burnt uh, used up during my heavy session today. So here, here we have turmeric powder, mixed veg, coconut oil. I'm gonna fry this. This concludes today's workout and food. And then of course, my rice with chicken and minced pork. The coconut oil. Minced pork, chicken, and then the rest is rice.
Well, that's it. That concludes my dinner. I'll take a look at this. We've come to the end of the uh, program, uh, the video vlog. And let me know what you think. Uh, any comments, please put it down below. I will answer those. If, any, if you have any questions uh, about the nutrition side, the training side, or the training program, I will answer those. Please comment. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and click on the notification. <music>